Okay, good. Recording has begun. So we passed about whatever we're going to be doing. So, 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 quick one. Um, like I told you, graphics is just like the bedrock of anything you want to do in this in this uh, world of web and digital, ranging from logos. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can. Okay, ranging from logo to flyers to uh, mock-up designs to prototyping a website. Do you know we can actually prototype a website in Corel Draw? Really? Yeah. No, I don't. Yes, we will no. not go. Will not go that advanced. I will just show us the basic functionalities and things we can do. There are some times where you have a logo. Maybe the logo you want to remove it trans. You want to make it transparent. You don't want it to have a background. You can do that here. You can do so now quickly. I'm going to show us. These are our toolbars. These these are the tools we are going to be working with. Right from the pixel okay. down to this. Sorry, one. this web stuff is not showing on my mind. It's just a blank white page. Maybe I can still use that. What's that? What's not showing? This square part that I'm seeing that is like okay. having shadow. Can, can you see my mouse? Yes. Click on it. Okay. Now click on the third option to page. Okay. Is it showing Okay, now? my MCN logo is already on it. Uh -huh. Now come down here. Look at this blank plus sign. Click on it. Where my mouse is. Okay. Click on it, a new page will open. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we good now? Yes, yes, yes. I'm good. All right. So quickly we are going to be playing around. Um um you can create Google logo now, right? Yes, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now this is one of uh one of the design done by my one of my students yesterday, and I was really proud of her. She she, wow. did, she did this design from beginning to end. Somebody I just started teaching. Wow. Not as if she was that good. Mm. That's what she did yesterday. Mm. Now, this goes a long way to tell us wow. what we can do and what we cannot do. Okay? Can you hear me? Hey there. Hey there, Pam. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. So now, yes, quick, yes, yes. Yeah, quickly, we are going to make um, a design. We're going to be making a design. Now, what are we are going to be designing is going to be to shape our idea on in depth use of tools. Are you getting it now? Okay. It's going to, I'm going to teach us how to use a particular tool to draw anything we see. Okay. Okay. So I'm um, I'm bringing in an image that we are going to use, and okay, this image okay. I'm going to share it with you. Okay. Um, check your WhatsApp. The image should drop. Then you just copy it and drop it on your what's on your on your uh this in your workspace on Corel Draw. Have you seen the image? Yes, yes, I have. Okay, just copy it and go to your coral draw and paste it. Now, this is the image I sent you, right? Yes, yes. Okay, now this thing you are seeing is not as hard as you think. Okay? Wow. This was created. Okay. This was created in Corel Draw. I'm going to follow it step by step. Now, by the time we are done creating this, your hand will be very strong with um, Corel Draw. Is that okay by you? Um, okay. Now, the first yeah. thing first is, you know, they, they did something that is a square that is having um a, a kind of feel that is having something like shadow around it. All right. So I'll draw yes, my yes. I'll draw first draw my rectangle like this. Then I'll bring it out. I'll come here and double click on it. It will bring me here. Then I'm going to click on the third option. Now look at the third option. It's not matching what is here. So you click here. Look at the type, the blend I, transition. I, sorry, your first I I don't know what you did now. Okay, this is it. After drawing the rectangle, 
I double clicked here. Can you see my mouse? Yes. I double clicked there. This dialog box came No. Up. All right, here. Double click. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, have you double clicked here? I'm not yet um, transferred. Just copy it. You don't need to do anything special. Just copy it. Control C. Right click on it and copy it from your WhatsApp. On top of the image on your WhatsApp, just copy it. Are you not doing your WhatsApp with your PC? No, I'm not using my system to do my WhatsApp. Why? No, 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 no. Why? <laughs> Why? Nothing. Oh, hold on, Nothing. hold on. Okay, mm. hold on. Um, mm. How do I share this link with you? This one, you are not. Your PC, your PC. Now, just on your PC, go to Google. Just type baby in mother womb. Okay. Type baby in mother womb. Have you done, done that in your Google? Mm. Once you type baby in mother womb, mm. hit your enter button. Baby in mother womb. In mother womb. womb. Yeah, 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 baby in mother womb. Any search result? No, I don't know why the next book is kind of weird. Yes, I've seen, I've seen, yeah, yeah, I've seen it. You click on images, the second line, you see third to the last. Have you seen it? Have you seen the image? Hello? Yes, yes, I've seen the image. I will save image. Yeah. Just click on the image. It will load up. Copy it. Right click and copy it. I should copy it or I should save it. Which no, don't one? save. Just copy. Uh, and that's, okay. that's why I told you I'll be teaching a lot of pro tips. You don't need to go and save before you go and drag it to your folder. No, just right click and copy okay. image. Okay, I've copied. Yeah, like now, I've come to your Corel draw and paste it and paste it there. Just come to your Corel draw, then click Control V mm -hmm. to paste. Have you seen it on your Corel draw now? Yeah, it's still loading. Sorry for carrying. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's on your Corel draw now, right? Yes, yes. Okay, you see that's a better and faster way, right? Yes. Okay. So now, I draw your rectangle. To suit the shape of this black box and drag it out. Okay. Have you done that? Now you are going to double click on this paint bucket. This one where my mouse is. You can see my mouse, right? I'm not seeing your mouse. I'm not seeing it. Are you seeing my screen at all? Yes, I'm seeing your screen. Are you seeing my mouse? Yes, yes, I'm seeing the mouse now. Okay, you see here. Okay, none. Yeah, double click on it. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything like that one. Okay, I'm seeing okay. okay. Double, I should double click on double it. click on it. This dialog box should come up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Click the third option, fountain fill. Okay. So have you have you clicked the third option? Yes, yes. I've okay. done that. Has any color filled the box yet? No. No color filled the box. Hello. At all. Okay, cancel cancel that dialog box. No, no, not yet. Click cancel on the dialog box. Okay. I've now, done that. Select the rectangle you drew. You have to select an object before you can give it effect. Okay. Have you selected? Have you clicked on it? The the yes. Or now double click where you double click. Yes, area. yes. I have double click now. Okay. Now double click. Yeah, I've done that. So now click fountain field, the third option. 
I have done that. I'm, I'm still not seeing anything. There is nothing that is filling the rectangle you drew? Yes. You, you are doing something. You are doing, some, you are doing something wrong. Hello. Ah, I think your network is very poor. Even here. Yeah. I, I, hello. Pamela, Pamela. Pamela. Hello, hold, Francis. Hold on. Just listen. Listen. Now, you've drawn a, a, a rectangle like this, right? Yes, I've done that. Click on it. Make sure it's selected. Make sure you just look, make sure there is a dot on it. Just select it. Use your mouse. Just click on it once. Have you done I've, that? Yes, Shabi, you've clicked on yours, right? Yes. Are, are you not seeing my screen? Okay. Are you not seeing my screen? I'm seeing it, but my own is showing that those arrows, all those rotating arrows. No, you've double clicked it. Just click it once. This is what your own is showing, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yeah, click the middle back. It will, it will become normal. Okay. Is I it normal? Is it normal now? Yes, it's normal. Now double click this. Are we there? Yes. Okay, click on fountain field. I don't know whether I did mistake or money showing pink. <laughs> I'm sorry, mine is showing pink. I yeah, screenshot your just use the sniping tool and send me what you have now. Wait, wait, wait. What, what? Where you are now is showing where the black is is pink, Abby. Is it showing two colors or just one color? Yes. It's showing two colors, two right? Co like pink. White, white and pink. Just like the one you have. But pink is pink, where black yes. is, Abby. Yes. Uh, yes. hold on, don't worry. Don't worry. Should be this uh this progress bar by the left hand side is pink. Yes. Then by the right side is white. Yes. Uh, hold on. Just click the left hand phone. Then click here. You see where my mouse is? I'm not seeing your mouse. Can you see my mouse? Yes, yes. Uh, look at the dialog box now here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Just click it once. Yes. I should click that uh, that place. This right? this one, this yeah. We have where the cursor is pointing. That is where you should click that. Okay, yeah, that yeah, tip. yeah. Just click the yeah. tip. I've done that. Now um, the now on this box, dialog box here is pink that is there, right? Done that. Here, yeah, this dialog box is it not pink that is showing there. It's pink. It's pink, right? It's pink, it's pink. Oh yeah, click it. Let it drop down. Click it. Click the arrow, let it drop down. Okay, I've done that. Now there's a color picker here. Click it. Yes. Now come to that okay. image and select and select this color at the middle here. Come to that image. See where my, my color picker is. Sorry. Have you clicked the color I'm picker? I'm coming. Yes, I've done that. Okay, once you select that color, it will affect, it will change that pink to that color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My one is black and white. <laughs> Something is wrong. You know yours is showing brown or is it... Wait, let me do it again, sorry. Color picker. I can't, I think... Continue. Yeah, I've gotten it. No, no, no. I, I want you to get it. If I'm going along with it, it, it will make more sense. No, I I got that color you got earlier. Okay. With the color picker, right? And that brownish color you had. Okay. But mine is not the circle. Uh, I'll show you how to get it. Don't worry. Okay. Doesn't matter, it's just to get the color. 
Yeah. Now you see this type up here. You know it's like this yes. before. So if you select the second option, mm -hmm. it becomes circle. Okay, should I select it? Yeah, the second option. Yeah, I've done that. So it's now circle now. So how is your own looking? Is it looking yeah. like my own? Brown and white, no. <laughs> okay. This is where you got it wrong. Now look at this. You see, ba. Once you select this, mm. this color by the left is showing the outer layer. This color by the right is showing that middle layer. So now okay. select the color by the left and give it pure black. Select the color by the right and use your color picker to pick this color at the middle. Okay, okay. Let me do that. You got seen it, let me know. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. So how is it looking now? It's looking like yours. It's looking like what you have there, not like mine. Yeah. Okay, so what we have <laughs> Are we? Yes, yes. Okay, that's the whole idea. So this is the whole idea. Now okay. I'll delete what I did. Now, the next thing is, we've gotten this palette where this uh, drawing is on top of. So it's to draw this baby now. This baby, baby is, yes. This baby has, was drawn. Okay. So don't do, you will repeat the video and do what I'm doing. But just pay keen okay. attention to whatever I'm doing. Okay, okay. Now, this baby was drawn. So how then do we draw this baby? Now look at this uh, free hand tool by the left hand side here. Yeah. That is what was used. Okay. Okay. So now I'll okay. use I'll, I'll click on the yes. free hand tool, then I'll start drawing. So I can start from anywhere of my choice. I'll click. This is where I want to start. I'll click here. Is that you zoom? Okay, okay. On your mouse, on your mouse. Just no, I'm not using mouse. You're using your uh, touchpad. Yes. Uh, yes. Graphic designer. Don't worry, continue. Okay. So on your, if you are using mouse, once you use the the, the roll button, the scroll button, you you scroll in, you zoom, you scroll out, you zoom out like that. So now I will start anywhere I want. I'll click here. Okay. Here. Here. Now just watch what I'm doing. Now. Okay. So this is it. If I take it here, I'll double click. It will continue. I'll double click. It will continue. Okay. I'll double click. It will continue. Where are you touching? Are touching points or what? Yes, yes. I'm touching point because I'm still going to convert all these lines to curve. That's why I'm using freehand too. Okay. So just touch the important okay. points where it meets like that. Like that. Okay. So when we start converting it to curve, then it will start making sense to you. Okay. So like this. Okay. So I, now this is what I have. I've drawn the baby. Let me give it a yellow outline so that we can see it very well. But you see, it's not looking like the baby. Abby? Yes. So I'll come and click on my shape too. Then I'll zoom in. Then this is where the main work starts. I'll click and right click, then convert to curve. Then I'll click the middle and drag it. Okay, you click and right click. Yes, click it, then right click it again. Then convert to curve. Then you click the middle and drag like this. Now you, you will be seeing that it's making sense gradually. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. It's making sense gradually now. So you zoom yes. in, click, right click, convert it to curve, then click the body and drag it to fit. Drag. Then you click, right click, 
if you don't click it properly, it won't it won't bring convert to curve. Then you click and drag it in. Okay. Now you yeah, see we are getting the shape gradually. Yes, yes. This is the hardest part of design. If you can do this, you can do any design. Wow. This is the secret to design. Anybody that can successfully achieve this, there is no design you give that person, the person will not be able to do. Now, you see what I'm doing now. I'm zooming in. Yes, yes. Making sure that it's telling with that exact line of call. Okay? Then I'll zoom in. Convert to curve, and I'll, I'll make it bend just the way the original one is. Mm. Now, men looking at it, you know, we're already getting our shape. Yes, huh? yes, yes, yeah. yes. It's making sense now. Mm. Chair is looking. You say easy the way you're doing it. When someone starts it, it will be so hard. I say chair is looking easy now. When I now start my own, now it's not be hard. It's easy. It's your mindset. It's easy. It's easy. Look, just click, right click, and convert to curve. You need an external mouse to enjoy flexibility when you are designing. If you, if you don't have an external mouse, you might have problem. Now this place is the nose, so I have to zoom in. I'll click here and I'll drag oh, it. In. Mouse. So this is it. That's the nose. Now we are out of this part. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. This part now. This is what we do. Carry the free hand to again. Click here. Okay. Drop here. Drop here. Then click here. Drop here. Drop here. Then use your shape to now. That's why creativity comes in. You need to be very creative while doing your job. You need to know okay, that. Okay, to know when to drop. Yes, and where not to. So you click here. You drag it down like that. You click here. And make sure this comes down like that. Then you give it the yellow outline. Then it's not looking like the baby. Now watch. What do you think? Yeah, it's making sense. Now you see it, right? Now look at this yes, hand yes. side. It's not showing like it's two, it's showing like it's one. So you come here, you make sure you close up on this and make sure it's not showing like one. You click it, take it up and merge it up. Now you, I'll merge it, okay. it, it will not look like it's two again. You see now? Then, if I want to make it look exactly like what oh. we have, I'll use color picker. I'll click on this. Mm. I'll zoom in. I'll do this. I'll zoom in. I'll do this. What do you think we have? You can see it now. Like yes, so yes, I can. If I want to make it look better again, I can increase the outline field. You can see? How do you how do you increase the outline field? Okay, I will undo, select the baby, then double not this bo mm. paint bucket now, the second one. This one that shows like a pen. Like pink. Yes, this no, there are two now. This is what we use for filling the mm. shape. This is for outline. Double click mm. on it. Then this width, yes. the width, you drop it down, just select mm -hmm. 1.5. The higher it goes, the thicker the line becomes. Oh. So now for the woman's tummy, for us to draw the tummy now, I want, I want to draw the shape of the woman. And this woman will be fine woman, shall Okay. So I'll just do this. One, <laughs> one, two. Then I'll use my shape to, with giving it an outline of yellow. I'll click the same t procedure. How do you, okay, how do you do, okay, you just went there. How do you get the outline of yellow? You just click this color palette. Okay, now this is it. After drawing this, Mm. I did right click on this. Okay, you right click. Oh, okay. uh, right click will give the outline. Right click any anything will give the outline color. 
Then after right clicking, click on okay. on the on the line, convert it to call. Then give you one that that super shape she has. Okay. Then click on it. Give her a, a bomb bomb shape. Okay. It's making sense, ba? Yes, yes. It okay. is. That is set to. Let's go and give her a tummy shape. Just click here. Click here. That's all. That is, yeah. It's just one. Then convert yeah. it to curve. Zoom in and drag it. Now, if you look at it now, even if you try to sh reshape, reshape, it might not go. So double click at the mm. middle here to pin it. You are creating another border. That is, you double click there. Okay. Then I'll click here and drag it up to make it look exactly like it. Then I'll come here to click, click this arrow and drag it like this. You can see now we have it. Okay. Then take your pen to again. Click here. Click here. Click here. Click here. Um, give it an outline field. Then zoom in. Convert it to curve. Then you shape, shape it like this. Then convert this also to curve. Then click it and shape it inside. Now select all of these lines. And give them 1.5, just the way you did there. This one should be two because it should be heavier than the, the baby. The baby, yes. Yes. So you drag it like this and tell it to fit. Are we good? Yes, yes. And see, it's looking exactly. So just pick the mm. color. Now, this is for just training purpose. Pick the color. And see, 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 and see. So we have it. Yeah. So questions, please. Uh, I, I'm, I think I'm good to like practice first before I know what to ask. Okay, Samuel, do you have any question, please? Oh, um, no. No okay. question. Oh, no. All right. Thank you very much. So trust me, if you can do this, there is no design you cannot achieve. Okay. Yes, that's what I want us to do. And also, I would like us to play with um, the Go TV logo. Then, can you just give a demo on how you did that? Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do that right away. It's quite the same, almost the same with what we just did now. Now, this is our good okay. TV. This is our good TV logo. Now, this now, I can mm. tell you practically that this was not any font they used in designing this Go TV logo. This is no font. This was creation. Mm. Yes, they didn't use any font. If you try finding any font, you will never see from now to next year. Okay. You will never see from now to next year. I can promise you that. Wow. Yes. So now that, that is one of your unique quality as a graphic designer. You are able to distinguish between a font and a creation. Like if you, I don't know if you've seen them, um, there is this um, uh, E3, they call them Mibus. As an E3, they call them Mibus. It's in Kaduna, I've seen it in Kaduna. They call them Mibus. And Nibus is, <laughs> Nibus is one very rare E3 that is not common. And the font they use was created. So when you try to, to create or to look for the font of that Nibus, you might mm. never, you might never ever see uh, the font. That's just the truth. Okay? So you being a graphic designer distinguishes you from, yeah, welcome, Mam Tolu, okay? Uh, one of my old friends just joined. Now, I'll, I've copied the logo and I'm pasting it. Let me copy it. 
I'll paste it here so that you see the logo. Yeah, this is the level. This is what I I'm. Uh, this is what we are going to treat in our next class. But from the idea of this Go TV, I'm going to create. You should be able to create this nibble. Or better, still, maybe I'll treat it. Now look at this. This is not a font. Do you agree with me? Yes, 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 yes. I agree. Yes, this is no font. This is creation from scratch. Okay. Everything okay. there was created. Even the is it the animation? The yes, everything was created. Let me even just show you a quick one about the anim the animated head. What they did there was very simple, but it entails you knowing a lot about design before you can decode that that thing was being created. Now look at what they did here. This is what they did. Now watch. I'm going to just do the head so that you just have an idea. Ah, so these people are playing with my intelligence. That's what they did. This what they did is what I'm doing now. All right. So that's now this is another thing I told us about is what playing with shapes. Now they use an ellipse to draw something like this. They gave it white. Yeah, welcome, Mam Tolu. Can you hear me? Welcome, please. Okay, now after drawing that, they gave it white fill. Okay, they now drew, they now duplicated that white. They, they shrinked it inside and gave it black. Do we have it or not? Yes. Now we have it. So all I will do, I will just take this and bring it here. Now I'll take this again and bring it here. Is the eye co complete or not? How do you copy? How do you copy? How do you copy? Okay, this is how I copy. You are surprised I'm not using Control C, Control V. Yes. I will click on this. I will drag it to the no new location. Then before I will release the left uh, click, the left mouse click, I will just cl click my right, my right uh, click. That is before you leave your left click, click your right click, drag to the new location, holding your left click down, then you click your right click, your right mouse click, then it copies it automatically. That is, it reduplicates it. So you can play with that. Okay. Click on what you want to copy, drag it to the new location, right click and leave it. It copies it automatically. So now, this okay. is the idea. Okay? This is the idea. And what they did here was very simple. Look at that tool I told us, the what? The pen tool. Or you can even do this, an ellipse tool, then you make it like this. Just click here. It becomes like this, then you rotate it. Then you have something like this. Then you can use your shape tool and move it up to where you want it to be. So you give it the color, remove the outline, use your ellipse again, zoom in and give it an eye and give it a white color. Now you can see that you already have a replica of that. Can you see that? Hello, Pamela, Samuel, Tolu. Yes, you yes, can we can hear. see. Yes, yes, Tolu, yes, can yes. you enable your mic, please? If you can hear me, please. Enable your mic. So this is the whole idea. Now, the idea of this Go TV is going to give you the full concept on how to create this. This is as easy as you think but it might look very difficult if you've not tried something like as simple as this Go TV and this baby. Now, we are going to be treating the Go TV, okay? We are going to be treating the Go TV now. So as quick as possible, I'll run, I'll run through it. Mind you, I'm going to be using my shape tool, okay? There is something I'll, I can do if I'm, 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 I'm rushing through the work. I don't want to stress myself. I've recreated it too. But it's because you guys are still new in it. I want you to go through the stress of creating it from scratch. This is my Go TV. I've already created it. Is it the same or not? 
the same. Yeah, you see that I didn't do any stress. I just did one, two, I did two movement and I have it. Yeah. And it's exactly the same. But this is not how I teach my students. You you become lazy. This is what you are going to do. Use the pen to, to create it from scratch. You click, you start from here. Make sure you are zooming in like that. Are you seeing what I'm doing? Yes, yes. Okay, you click like that. So this is it. This is creating it from scratch. When you go through this process, you are grounded. There is no English anybody can tell you about design because you've gone through the process. Are you seeing that? Yes. Yeah. But it's not looking like Go TV now, Shay. But what I did was creating a path for me to enable me create curves. Okay? So you need to have okay. this foresight to know where to create path. Then you pick your shape to. You click here, right click, and convert it to curve. Okay. Are you seeing that? Yes. Just the way we did that baby. You just click it like that. Okay. Hold on, please. Okay. All right, so this is it. Now you just create it, convert to curve. That's just all you need to know and do. Once you know what you want, you've created a pattern around it. All you need to is what? Follow it gradually and what? Let your shape feel into what is existing. By so doing, you know how to create anything. So why I teach this way is I don't want to limit you. If I show you the easiest way, there are some designs that you can't, even the easiest way cannot get you across it. All right. There are some designs. Yeah, welcome, Mam Tolu. Welcome to the to the group. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. All right. Pamela and Samuel Tolu is joining us. She can hear us now. So let's say hi to her, please. Hi. Tolu, welcome. Thank you. All right. So we'll continue with the class. So I'm, I'm recording this class, I, as I told us. I'm sorry about yesterday, Samuel. The recording I did, I mistakenly deleted it unknowingly, please. That was why I didn't, I didn't share the, the video link with us. But this, I'm not going to make that mistake again. All right? So now, this is it. We, uh, we just follow it judiciously. You click and convert to curve. By this doing, you will get exact aspect ratio of the original um something you are trying to uh, redesign maybe a company logo is getting blurry it's not sharp again they'll just ask you oh please can you since you are, you are you are you are graphic inclined please recreate this logo for us you're not the original creator but with the idea of this design tool you can recreate anything so the best way to keep this knowledge and not forget anything is to get your hands on practical after this it might not just be this assignment i'm giving you can try your hands on other things. You can see we've already gotten the shape, right? All right? Yes. Now we've already gotten the shape. What is left now is a circle in between. So you use your free hand to, I don't know why, I like it. It's just the best tool for me in design. Anywhere, any, any day, anytime. So click, convert into curve, then you drag to the right. Now, you are seeing that there is space here, there is space here. So you still need external um, um, stuff to do there, okay? So now, double click. You are not going to click just once now. Double Why click not here. make it into four parts? That, that means. Okay, you saw what? Why not make it into four parts? Up the that's, two sides. That's, that's, a, that's another creative move. I click here, I click here, right? Mm. Yes. I click here. 
I bring it here, right? Yes. Okay. So Samuel and Tolu, you can see this is another anything that works yeah. for you. Okay. So this is our own idea and is working perfectly. Okay. All right. Are we are we there? Yes. Now yes. this is this is the idea. Anything that works for, but make sure you are getting the part right. You understand? When your hands become stronger, you see that you even discover more flexible ways to do these things. So you can see we have it now. So the next thing we do is is the TV. So how do we then do the TV? Make sure you are zooming in very well. This is the best way to get the best results. Mind you, these angles are curved. So you make sure you leave a space for curving. Do you know why I'm doing it like that? Because the angles are curved. Any curvature, you have to leave something like that so that you can curve that aspect you are leaving. So that's the TV. So you are going to create this inner part also. So if you follow this video and you can successfully do what we just did in this class, trust me, you have no problem with graphics. So the next thing, like I told us, is what? Creating it, covering these edges. Just like that, as simple as that. Are you seeing what I'm doing? Yeah. So like as simple as that. Yeah. You zoom in. When you zoom in, you see what you are doing better. All right? When you zoom in, you see better. Okay. Okay, we are good, we are good, we are good. Okay, you can see. So the next thing I'm I'm going to teach us is how to add um, our logo and make it look very transparent on a on a product. Just for instance, now most clients they like posting their products and they like their logo, their company logo to be on the product. But if you check most of these posts they do online, it's very unprofessional in the sense that you see that the logo we have its own background, the product is having its own background. Eh? And you know that that is not very professional, right? Yeah. So we are going to we are going to do that. That is product branding. We are going into product branding now. So um, we are going to highlight everything we've done like this. I'll take it out. Do we have our Go TV or not? Uh, we do. Now yeah. we have our Go TV, right? Yes. Okay. Um, if you are confused at any point, please draw me back. Now, this is our go TV. The next thing is giving it coloration. But mind you, this is a different shape. This is another different shape. You have to unify them, okay? Hello, are you there? Yes. Yes, we have to unify these yes. two shapes. For instance, if I click this and I give it color red, look at it. You see the, the, the circle, the box circle is not... It's not having any effect. It's still there, okay? Because it's on top of it. So for you to remove that, you have to select the two of them and click on and come here. There is a trim option. Click on trim. Then when you fill it with red, now that that circle is left out, okay? The same thing applies here. Select it. Click on the second option, which is trim. Then you fill it with the color green. Then everything looks good. Select it. And Is it that like you select the part you don't want um, the green to touch and trim on it and, and, and trim it? Sorry. Okay. Now, this is it. This is it. Now, look at this. If I give this just green, you can see that 
he seen it as two shapes because the this yeah. is one and this one is another mm -hmm. giving it white might make it look but it's not professional you're not supposed to fill this place with the color it's supposed to be blank okay so to do that just highlight the two of them now it is being seen as two different shapes highlight the two of them come here and click on trim trim means you are you are unifying the two shapes together then when you give it a color it doesn't affect the one at the middle okay the same thing applies here too you trim it and give it the red trim and you give it red now we have our go tv logo any question please any question uh, yes i have one question all right please go on okay um just like this um go tv stuff yesterday that i tried my hands on it yes i had to draw the shape i didn't do the way you did i just had to look at this somewhere and yeah. i started drawing it which okay. was a bit difficult yes so i know it would have been hell for you because you are trying you are not getting the aspect ratio you're trying to use your eye gauge to get the shape right yes yes so now the best way to redesign anything is to get the image and bring to your current yeah. environment trust me okay. you can just the time it will take you to design it will be easy i taught a student yesterday on zoom a, a student i'm taking personally on zoom and this was what she reproduced for me. So it will be very easy. Like I told us, knowing the routine to follow, professional routine to follow in designing is your first step to success. Okay? Now, I yeah. can decide to highlight all of them now and come to my shadow and give them a shadow fill. Now, look at this. Is it not already looking professional? yes you get so this is the yeah. idea whatever you want to design make sure you bring the shape to your corel draw environment this is what another student designed for me she said um what i'm teaching her is 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 bigger than what she's getting so she decided to do this that i should post this that i should train people for for at least an amount so that when an amount is attached they'll be serious look at what she created from scratch look at a student I, I just took, we are, we are now up to a, a week here to design this yesterday. Look at this, you can create it. She saw this on Google and created her own. Now, this is the idea of free and two. With free and two, you can create anything you think of. Okay? So that is it. Look at what she created. Look at all of this. You can see this is an eyeglass shape now. She? Yeah. So we can do anything. So just know the right tool to use. And if you must redesign anything, bring it here. Like, just like if you want to design GT Bank logo. Okay, without bringing the logo, I know that it's going to be like this. You understand? Then it's going to have... Um, okay. So it's going to have something like this. Then there is something that is white, even though we don't know the measurement. Abby, we know that there is one yeah. white thing here, right? Yes. Then we can just write our GT GT Bank. GT Bank, right? Yeah. Who can tell me the font? Uh, the font for GT Bank logo. Which font was used? Let me see whether our researchers are working. Refutara. <laughs> oh my God, he got it. Futura is the common, like I told us, Futura is the common font used by major logo designers. So now this looks like from afar for amateur, this is GT Bank logo now, right? Yeah. Yes. But I will tell you a thousand and one reasons why this is not GT Bank logo. It's not meeting the, there is measurement. There is the distance between look at look at where this red thing is. The distance between here and here has measurements. The distance between this place and uh, this place has measurements are you are we together yes. yeah yes. all of these things they have their measurements and until you know these measurements in depth you cannot comfortably design because when you design and it is being viewed by a detailed graphic analyst it will tell you if you are even though the coloration the font the text is the same 